Bonjour, bonjour. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I want to talk about a very underrated product from Bioderma. And actually, um, a couple of years before, probably last six years or something like that, um, Bioderma came up with this old line that is named uh, Matricium, which was composed of a sort of a serum, such um, in individual doses. And this is actually the, the product that I'm going to review for you today. And also uh, three different, um, I would say, skincare products. The first one was um, a serum in the classical sense of what I would say, not like in individual doses. And also from what I recall to moisturizer, one that was dedicated for more mature skin and another one for, um, for people in their 30s. And I have to say that the old line was simply um, incredible. And unfortunately, uh, in the Matricium line, we just have uh, this product um, now. So what is exactly the Matricium from Bioderma? The matricium from Bioderma is sold uh, between, um, I would say, a skincare and almost something that is more, uh, I would say, um, medical for a couple of uh, reasons. First of all, uh, the product is only in individual doses and the reason is because it is 100% uh, sterile. So in this formula, you are not going to find any preservatives. You also are not going to find any fragrance, any irritants, any, I would say, complex ingredients. And by complex, I mean, for example, botanical um, extract, extract from shea butter, that, which is a botanical uh, extract. You will not find any silicone known of this simply because um, the overall formula is extremely similar to a media which uh, we actually use to make cell uh, culture so this product is basically a food for our skin cells this is definitely a very i would say innovative treatment because um, when you look at the market of skincare and all the logic i would say behind a skincare product most of the time is to use some types of emollients whether they are synthetics or they are derived from um, a plant and they are, for example, used to lock in the water. It looks also the same with most um, humectants. Um, they can be sugars and etc. But most of the time, all those molecules are not naturally occurring in your skin or there are only some of them that are occurring on the skin. Or this is, I would say, a botanical extra that is very similar or that resembles what we already have in the skin, but never it is ingredients that are like just already here. And this is what you have here. All the all this formula, or almost I would say, because there is still one um, ingredient that is, I would say slightly different, but still very uh, close to what we already um, have in our body. But the overall formula is basically the type of molecule that our cells can 100% um, use. So this serum, um, or I would say this treatment, but it has, I would say, the consistency of a really light um, serum, is um, was designed to be used after any hard uh, skin procedure. So to give you um, an example, it could be after resurfacing laser, using the CO2 laser, it could be after a very strong uh, peel. So all those type, uh, or after microneedling, for example. And the whole idea is to provide um, like food and uh, essential nutrients for your skin cells, especially the one that is beneath the stratum corneum, so the skin uh, barrier. Of course, that doesn't mean that you cannot use uh, this product as a first layer after you have cleansed um, your skin. This is actually how I use it and I especially love this product after hard treatment with uh, retinol or simply after uh, when I have done my at home peeling using the Ducré Azelaic uh, product, which is the Melas Cream, the intensive care. And I also have a video about this uh, beautiful product. So now I'm going um, to describe the formula uh, for you. Again, you can go to my blog at cyrillaurent.com. I have a full blog post that I've just linked in the description box if you want to have like all the details about this formula, because for this video, I want to keep it, I would say, um, short. But if you want more data, more details, definitely go to my blog. So this formula is basically a cell medium. So basically what uh, I used to use 
in my own lab. And the first thing that is extremely important in every media that you're going to use is of course to have an energy, an energy source for the cells. And here it is the glucose. And this is basically um, the one of the main components of every, every uh, media. Then we need to have some molecules that are like a um, building block, I would say. So like if you want to construct a house, you will need, for example, wood and also maybe bricks to make uh, the walls. This is the whole idea. And for the cells, it's, it is also uh, the same. So a cell is evolved thanks to a lot of enzymes to transform certain ingredients into another. So um, to give you like a simplistic example, they could turn some cells can turn bricks into wood, but they still requires, I would say, a minimum of um, essential nutrients. And one of them is simply amino acids. And amino acids, I've already talked about um, on my channels, they are the primary building block to make protein. And in your skin, one of the main protein is simply keratin. And keratin is made by um, different amino acids that are linked together and our and your skin cells know how to make keratin because we have a gene that has the recipe to make um, keratin. And in those uh, amino acid in this formula we have uh, 20 different amino acid. Most of them are what we call essential amino acids so our cells are really dependent on uh, those. So we have um, arginine, serine, leucine, valine and um, etc. In total we have um, 20 different amino acids in this one. Another uh, very important class of molecule is also vitamins. As you know, they are also super important um, in terms of nutrition because without them, we can basically cannot live. And vitamins, uh, I would say most of them are a coenzyme, which um, basically what they do is that they help big enzymes to help them to do their job. So for example, if you want to convert, like I said, the brick into a wood, from time to time, those enzymes uh, are going to require um, sometimes a vitamin to help this uh, process to make it uh, very simple. So um, in this formula, you have derivative of the B family that is so important, especially niacinamide, which is basically the pro-vitamin B5. And one of um, the use in our cells is to uh, produce energy in the form of a very complex molecule that is um, NAD, but basically uh, the cells requires um, niacinamide. Of course, because it is uh, topically, uh, it also has um, other advantages to use niacinamide. I've already talked about on my channel here. Uh, it is mostly not um, very concentrated. Over here, the idea is to have a very low concentration like you are going to find in a cell uh, media. We also have uh, essential minerals in the form of sodium, chloride, potassium, also magnesium, calcium. Calcium has a lot of uh, beneficial action. For example, um, in the epidermis, the cells that are linked together, they use a very complex molecule that we call integrin. And integrin are sort of, uh, I would say, they work like a little bit like a scratch uh, between them, this is uh, what makes the cells cohesive and they are dependent of calcium. If you remove the calcium, they are not going to be linked together. We also have a lot of enzymes that are dependent of calcium and also some of them are dependent of uh, magnesium. There is also uh, other key molecules necessary for life, such as um, inositol, which is a sort of a cellular uh, messenger. I would say we also have adenosine. Adenosine is also one of the key components of the energy uh, metabolism and uh, etc. So a very, I would say, simple formula in a way because it doesn't use a very complex uh, ingredient but really essential ingredients for life but at the same time uh, really complex because um, I, I guess that the ratio between all those molecules make this uh, product really close to a cell uh, media. So the whole idea of this product is of course for the healing of your skin especially when the skin barrier is um, really uh, damaged. And this product is going to give basically the food to the epidermal cells behind your skin barrier to help to um, restore your skin. So how I recommend this product. So I recommend this product for those of you who have very impaired skin barrier, or simply when you want to start a very, I would say hardcore anti-aging uh, treatment. So for example, if you want to test one of my routine, 
uh, like the hyperpigmentation terminator, you can definitely use this product as a very first uh, layer to really help your skin to cope with all the symptoms and also to give, I would say, like a sort of a boost for um, your skin cells um, below your skin barrier. You can also definitely use it when you are using um, tretinoin or um, retinol at 1%, especially in the beginning when you have um, a hard time to tolerate the product. This is um, a great thing that you can use. Obviously, if you go um, to a, an aesthetic uh, doctor, please don't go and see an anesthetician. Go and see someone who um, has a medical degree, so basically a doctor, to do one dose of treatment after to help to recover your skin. This product is also uh, wonderful to use. And of course, for those of you who are skinner like myself, and if you really want to have a very interesting product uh, in your skincare routine, this one is definitely uh, worth a try. So the texture is a very light weight. It is very runny. It is a little bit uh, like a gel, but barely. What I like about it is that you can close the lid, but keep it only for one day. So basically use half of the little dose in the morning and the rest in the evening, or you can also layer it in um, to use one full dose um, every evening for example if, if it is something that you wish for but keep in mind that there is absolutely no preservative this is perfect to have a bacteria growth so don't keep it for a very uh, long time for sure so basically 12 hours um, maximum so comment down below and tell me if you have ever tried this product or if you want to try it and if you have any question you can like i said go to my blog if you want to have a little bit more details about this uh, product i of course thank you so so much for watching me if you like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos you can also follow me on instagram i am cyril laurent i have a lot of content here i also love to answer your comments of course here and on instagram i again thank you so so much for watching me and i will see you next time au revoir